In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, hello everyone and welcome to another one of our English language lessons. This lesson will be for the first intermediate grade and it will be on the second semester. It is called Three Square Meals. We're going to take some speaking and writing. This lesson was prepared by Ms. Abir al anizi and it will be presented by yours truly, Mohamed Abouyan. Alright, first of all, as always, as in every lesson, we must have the lesson objectives, which means the things that we are going to do and to learn. First of all, we're going to prepare students for the writing activity. Then we're going to provide students with a sample and present the, present the topics related to their writing task. Finally, we're going to be able to give students practice in identifying specific information in the text. First of all, as you can see, here's a small warm-up. We have this picture. I believe it's an Italian guy for some reason. So let's read the uh, questions over here and answer them. Do you like pizza? Well, my answer will be, who doesn't, right? I mean, who doesn't? Everyone loves pizza, because pizza is quite good. Well, so, I guess the answer will be yes. Then it says, what toppings do you like? Well, of course, you know what pizza is. This is a pizza. However, what is the meaning of the word toppings? If you take the word top from here, as you know, what is the meaning of top? We have taken it as a rooftop and many things. Top of the table, you know, you have always heard it, so... When we hear the word top, it means something above something else. Then, that says, what toppings do you like? Toppings actually refers to the pizza, so what do we mean by that? That's right, we mean the things that are on the pizza. As you can see here, they have some cheese, I believe some, uh, you know, they have some cheese, I believe some bacon and stuff, so what do you think about that? What toppings do you like? What toppings do you like on your pizza? Well, probably, I guess, uh, the fan's favorite, which is pepperoni which is some sort of meat, of course, beef meat. So, yeah, I guess we'd go with pepperoni because it's the best, that's for sure. All right, so in our discussion, the answer will be yes, we do love pizza, and yes, we love pepperoni the most, and pizza is awesome. Well, the Italian guy over here also seems happy, so that's what makes our answer absolutely correct. Okay, first of all, let's have some speaking over here. Let's have some speaking. You see, here is a boy. This boy is speaking about himself, so let's read it together. Let's read it together and focus on it very well, so that when we, do, when we are done, we can absolutely tell the story again in our own words. Okay, so let's read it together. Hello, my name is Alfredo, and I'm from, I'm from Burano, Italy. For breakfast, I usually have biscuits with milk or hot chocolate. I love biscuits. For lunch, my mom makes some pasta and a fish or meat dish. Of course, we always have a salad or cooked vegetables. On Thursdays, I often go to the city center with my friends and have a slice of pizza with cheese, tomato, and mushrooms. For dinner, I often have meatballs or pasta with tomato sauce. At the weekend, I sometimes have an omelette with vegetables and cheese or meat. Okay, so here's another boy who's actually given us a question. He says, take the correct pictures of Alfredo's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Do you know what is the meaning of tick? What is the meaning of ticking? Well, yeah, you always get it in school, not just in English, actually. No, you get it in many subjects. That's how we do a tick. This is the symbol of having a tick which means when the answer is correct, we put that symbol, which is a tick, as you know it. So, we have some questions and we have some pictures that we are going to tick. But then, we have to go back to the whole thing about Alfredo and learn again, make sure that our answers are correct. Alright, so the first one over here, we have breakfast. As you know, breakfast, which is the first meal, as we have spoken about it, which is the first meal every day. The first meal, when you wake up in the morning, you have your breakfast. Here we have a chocolate bar, we have some cookies, I believe, with some milk, and also some coffee, I believe. Coffee, I guess. This one is coffee with milk, so, yeah, we would go with that. So let's go back to the slide where he has spoken about his breakfast and concentrate so we can tick the correct answer from these three or even maybe more than one. All right, so we are now coming back to this one. <coughs> he said over here, Hello, my name is Alfredo and I'm from Burano, Italy. For breakfast, I usually have biscuits with milk or hot chocolate. I love biscuits. So, yeah, come on, tell me, what did, what did he say? What did he say exactly? 
he said. For breakfast, as you can see here, for breakfast, he has what? Well, number one, he has biscuits with milk or hot chocolate. And then he says, I love biscuits. So how many things does he have? Well, he usually has, first of all, number one, biscuits. Then he says, number two, with milk or with hot chocolate. So we have a choice. So one of these two, one of these two will be number two. So in that case, the important thing we know that is biscuits. He has biscuits. And one of these two, which is milk or hot chocolate, okay? Once again, what are they? Biscuits with milk or biscuits with hot chocolate. Okay, that's it. We're done. So now let's look at it. Let's look at it and tick the answer. So for breakfast, what did he say? He wants what? He Does he have a chocolate bar? Does he have a chocolate bar? No, he doesn't. What about coffee? Does he have coffee? No, he doesn't have any coffee. So in that case, does he have, you know, cookies and biscuits, which are cookies or biscuits with milk? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He wants it. So in that case, we put a tick over here. That's one of the answers. Okay, so now let's move to the next one, to the next one, which is lunch. We have, as you can he see here, that's a slice of pizza. Don't we all love pizza? Yes, we do. So that's a slice of pizza. Here, as you can see, we have some pasta with some tomato sauce on the top. Then we have a soup. You know the soup very well. Here we have fish. And you see, that's a dish that has a fish over in into it. And then, finally, we have some salad. That's for lunch, of course. It's not about dinner. No, it's about lunch. So let's check it out now. Let's check it out and answer the question, just like what we did. We'll underline the main ideas or the names of the food. And then, we're going to come back here and take the correct answer or answers. Okay, so he said that <coughs> for lunch, my mom makes some pasta and a fish or meat dish. Of course, we always have salad or cooked vegetables. On Thursdays, I often go to the city center with my friends and have a slice of pizza with cheese, tomato, and mushrooms. Okay, let's go back again now. Let's hold the pen now with us. Let's have the pen now and underline as we always do. So he says, for lunch, my mom makes some pasta. That's, as you can see, that's it, pasta, and a fish or meat dish. So, first of all, he has pasta, and then he has one of these two, whether it was fish or meat. So, here we have one of those. They have pasta with fish or has pasta with meat dish. Okay, then he says, of course, we always have a salad. He says, we always have a salad. So, that's number three. Number three. Or cooked vegetables. Cooked vegetables, that's number four. Then he said that on Thursdays, I often go to the city center with my friends and have, yes, he said it, he said a slice of pizza. Well, that's number five. The slice of pizza over here has many things, which are cheese, tomato, and mushrooms. All of these things are actually into the slice of pizza that he's having because that's his favorite topping. You remember when we said we like pepperoni? Well, he probably likes it with cheese, tomato, and mushrooms. Okay, so once again, what are the things that we have? We have pasta, we have fish, we have meat, and then we have salad, cooked vegetables, and a slice of pizza. So, let's look for them. Let's look for them into the picture now. Let's look for them into the picture. Okay, so did he say that he likes a slice of pizza? Did he, did he say that he likes a slice of pizza? Yes, he did. He said that he likes it with tomato, cheese, and mushrooms. Well, this one probably, it does have them all, it does have them all, although I don't really see mushrooms, but that's okay, because, well, probably it's there. Did he say that he likes pasta? Did they, he say they have pasta? Yes, they did. They actually have pasta, so that's another tick. What about the soup over here? Do they have soup? Do they actually have soup? Did he say that? We have soup? Well, probably not. He didn't say that, so we're going to skip it for now. What about fish? What about fish? Did he say that? We have some fish? Yes, he did. He said that. We have some fish, so that's another correct answer. And finally, this one. What is this one? As you can see, it consists of many vegetables cut together. So, what is it? That's right. It is salad. Do they have a salad? Yes, they do. So, let's go back again so we can make sure. Let's go back again and make sure that we have got it, gotten everything right. So, he said that. <coughs> Pasta, yes, we found the pasta. We found fish, of course, he said fish. Or meat dish, there was no meat in the picture, so no, we skipped it. He said salad, yes, we do. So we have pasta, fish, salad, and then cooked vegetables. Did you find any cooked vegetables? No, we didn't, so in that case, we skipped it. Then he said that, a slice of pizza. So did we find a slice of pizza? Yes, so we found pasta, fish, salad, slice of pizza, which are four words, four words. As you can see, 
Do they have four? Yes, one, two, three, four. That's right. All right, so now let's move to the next one. So the next one, as you can see, for dinner, of course. That's for dinner. <coughs> so here we have another pasta, another pasta here. And we have some eggs, as you can see, some eggs. And also we have some meatballs, you know, the meatballs over here. They have also sauce. Then there is another kind of pasta, another kind of pasta. Here is a pasta with sauce, and this one is another kind. And finally, there is an omelette. You know what an omelette is? It's made of eggs and many other ingredients, so that's an omelette. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back again and check them out. We have one, two, three, four. We have one, two, three, four, five. So let's go now and check out the other things and absolutely get the answer right. So he says that. Come on, let's read it together now. He says... For dinner, I often have meatballs or pasta with tomato sauce. At the weekend, I sometimes have an omelette with, a veg with vegetables and cheese or meat. So now let's count them. Let's count them again. So we have the pen now. We have the pen. He says, for dinner, I often have meatballs or pasta. And then he says, pasta, of course, with tomato sauce, as you can see. It's a pasta with tomato sauce. So as you can see, meatballs, that's one. That is one. And then, what about pasta? That is two. The pasta with tomato sauce, that is two. So now we have two. And then he says, at the weekend, I sometimes have an omelet. So omelet, it's number three, with vegetables, vegetables and cheese or meat. So the whole things, the vegetables, the cheese and the meat, all of them are actually into the omelet. So how many things does he have? How many things do they have? Meatballs, pasta with tomato sauce, or omelette with vegetables and cheese or meat. So now, when, once again, let's repeat them so we can memorize them. He said meatballs, pasta with hot tomato with tomato sauce, and he said that omelette with vegetables and cheese or meat, of course. So let's go now. Let's go now and look for the pictures. <coughs> did he say that here? As you can see, did he say that they have pasta with tomato sauce? Did he say that? Yes, he did. So that's number one. That's number one. What about the second picture here? Did he say that they have just ordinary eggs? Ordinary eggs. Do they have that? No, they don't. So we're going to skip this. What about meatballs? Did he say that they have meatballs? Meatballs? Yes, they did. They have meatballs. What about the second pasta over here? What about the second pasta over here? Did he say that they have macaroni and cheese or anything similar to that? You know, pasta with nothing on top? No, he didn't say that, so we're going to skip it. What about the omelette over here? Omelette with some vegetables, as you can see here on the inside, and sometimes it's with meat. So, yes, they do. They actually do have it. They have omelette with, as you know, some things inside, like, like vegetables and other stuff. Okay, so let's complete the table below about our own eating habits. Let's start. First of all, what do we have for breakfast here in Saudi Arabia? Well, probably we have, well, to me at least, we have bread. What else other than bread? We have something called bread. We have also cheese, cheese with bread. And of course, don't forget to mention, we don't forget to mention tea, because we drink tea all the time at the morning. So, this is what we have for breakfast, I believe, in Saudi Arabia. What about lunch? Lunch is usually consists of what? Rice with chicken or meat. That's what we have. We have rice with chicken or meat. And then for dinner, well, sometimes I guess many people actually do have it. I asked many people and they said sometimes they do have pasta. Not me, but some people actually do. So here in Saudi Arabia, about our own eating habits, for breakfast we have some bread, cheese, and tea. Also, what we have for lunch is rice with chicken or meat. And finally, for dinner we have some pasta. Okay. So here we want something we want to know something called avoiding repetition. What do we mean by repetition? What do we mean by repetition? It's from the word repeat, which means we mention th the thing again and again and again. So let's read it now. When writing, try not to repeat the same words all the time. Use words like he, she, it, we, they, which are the subject personal pronouns. For example, as you can see here, I never eat tomatoes. They are horrible. Instead of saying, I never eat tomatoes. Tomatoes are horrible. I can replace the other tomatoes with the word they, because they are a group. And then they said, when it comes an object, of course, him, her, it, us, them, when it's an object, personal pronoun. For example, lamb kebab is my favorite food. I love, well, it comes in the place of an object, so I'm going to say it. So I want you to focus on these two. Subject, 
object and I believe you know what its subject is and you know what the object is as you know all of these so when it comes in the object it means it will become at the end of the sentence like this and when it comes in the subject it will become at the beginning of the sentence don't forget okay so <coughs> read and replace the words in bold within the sentences with subject or object pronouns so now let's go to the first sentence let's go to the first sentence over here my dad doesn't usually eat breakfast my dad hasn't got time for breakfast you see it's not very good because we have repeated many words unnecessarily so what do we say my dad doesn't usually eat breakfast my dad here what's gonna become my dad is a man so in that case what am I gonna do that's right we're gonna hold on let me just choose this we're gonna cross it over here we're gonna cross it and say that's right, we're going to say, he, he hasn't, he hasn't got time for breakfast. What about breakfast? Is, a bre breakfast? is it a human being that speaks to you? Well, no, it's not. It's actually a thing. So in that case, we're going to cross it and say, that's right, we're going to say it. Why do we say it? Because, well, it's not a person. It's a thing. So we use it. Then, what do we have over here? What do we have over here? It says, we always have vegetables with our meals, but I don't like vegetables. Vegetables are horrible. You see, they have repeated vegetables many times. One, two, three. So in that case, what do we have to do? What can we say about it? Can we replace it? Yes, we can. What should we do? Come on, let's do it together. We always have vegetables with our meals, but I don't like... What did we say? It comes in the place of an object at the end of the sentence. In that case, we're going to cross it and write what? That's right, we're going to write them that's what we we're gonna write I don't like them then they became in the beginning of the sentence as you can see here they are in the beginning of the sentence so what shall we do in that case vegetables are horrible what do we call them because they're a group in that case what do we use we use that's right we use the word they because they are in the beginning of the sentence as we have learned that's right here let's have the whole sentences the full sentences <coughs> My dad doesn't usually eat breakfast. He hasn't got time for it. And then the second sentence, we always have vegetables with our meals, but I don't like them. They are horrible. All right, as you can see, here we replace them with, as you, saw, as you see, the pronouns. Then we have, John doesn't eat chocolate. Chocolate is not good for the John. So what do we do about it? What do we do about it? We have John and we have chocolate. So in that case... John doesn't eat chocolate. Chocolate, what, what do about chocolate? What do we say? What do we say about chocolate? Come on, it's just one. It's just one. In that case, we're going to say, that's right, it's going to say, it isn't. It isn't because it's just one. It's uncountable. Do you remember that? Okay, it isn't good for John. John is a man and he's now in the place of an object. So when a man comes in a place of an object, what do we use? Instead of he, what do we use? We use actually the word, that's right, we use the word him, because it came in the place of an object. So we're going to write it down, H-I-M, which is him. Okay, my sister and I usually have breakfast together. My sister and I have cereal and orange juice. Do you remember when we say, when I speak about myself and someone else, what do I use? That's right, you know it very well. So my sister and I, because we are a group, we are a group, in that case I'm going to say the word we. Why did I use the word we? Because I am mentioning myself in the sentence with someone else, as we have remembered. Don't forget that. So, and we became in the place of the subject. In that case, it's going to become we. As you can see here, let's look at the answers. John doesn't eat chocolate. It is not good for him. Why is it it? Because it's a place of a subject. Why is it him? Because it's a place of an object, just like we learned. And here, my sister and I usually have breakfast together. We have cereal and orange juice. Why is that? Because it's me and her, me and my sister. All right. So, finally, I always have pizza on Friday nights. Pizza is my favorite. What can I say about it? What can I say? Come on. Pizza is just one, and it's uncountable. So, I always have pizza on Friday night. Then I say, that's right, it is. It is my favorite. It is my favorite because it's just one. It is just one, as you can see here. Okay. So, here we have some sentences. Let's write about our own eating habits. With these sentences, for breakfast, I usually have for lunch, for dinner. So, first of all, what do you usually have for breakfast? Here are some words that can help us. Let's mention them again. Come on, let's say it again. We say, for breakfast. Hold on, let me fix this. For breakfast. So, 
So the first one for breakfast, I usually have, let's say, bread. And then the second one, as you can see, what about lunch? So I say, for lunch, I usually have, let's say, rice. So this is the second sentence, the second sentence. And now let's go back to the third one. What do you usually have for dinner? We'll say, for dinner, I usually have pasta, just like we said, just like we said. So here are the three sentences. Here are the three sentences. Let's just put this in small. Okay, as you know them, as you know them very well. So, this is the end of our lesson. This is a summary. In this lesson, we have presented the three meals. We have spoken about breakfast in the morning, lunch after school, and dinner at night. Thank you so much, guys. It's an absolute pleasure to be presenting these lessons. Thank you so much, and hopefully we're going to see you again. <laughs>